Hey, what's up YouTube? Math and the Gold Bros. Come to you guys with another video today. So in this video, we're going to continue to stick with the tutorials. And in this one, we're going to be doing a how to condition and maintain your glove tutorial. So first off, I'm just going to start by conditioning just the walnut on this. And I'm just going to talk about some of the maintaining and um, a lot of common questions we get asked about um, gloves and maintaining it. When should you condition? When should you not? Um, my first thing I'm going to get at is you condition the glove when you feel it needs to be conditioned. Um, there's no time or date that's like, you know, 100% right or 100% wrong. You know, there is over conditioning on a glove and I totally understand that. Um, but I would say, you know, if you play in a really dry game, you know, really do your best to get all the dust off the top of the glove first before you condition it. And then you can go ahead and condition it. Um, I wouldn't say to do it every week, every two weeks. Um, you know, feel the glove, know what you're doing. Uh, as long as you condition it properly, you're never gonna over condition a glove um, as long as you take all the proper steps. So right now I'm just going over this Wilson A2K uh, 1787 with a light coat of Wilson Pro Stock Glove Conditioner. This one is one of my favorites. Um, this one you can really use on any different color leather. This is my go-to for uh, camel gloves or um, a lightish tan. I feel like it does a really good job of getting into the leather um, without really deepening the color too much, making it um, super dark or anything like that. So I'm just going to go over with a toothbrush. This is one of my favorite tools. It's just an old toothbrush. Um, you can go to the dollar store and buy yourself a toothbrush. Or you can just use your hand. A lot of people like to use their hand and more power to you. But for me, I like to use the toothbrush. I feel like it's just more consistent. I can be much more accurate and my hands don't get all greased up from, you know, the, the oil, obviously. Another great conditioner is also Tubi Wax. Um, this one is pretty good. Um, I got a couple containers. Of this I really like it. Uh, it's pretty good stuff. My concern with it is just with the camel. I feel like as if it makes the camel a little bit dark, it will fade back in a couple days. But to me, I'm just more a fan of the uh, Wilson Pro Stock for right now. Now I'm just gonna wipe everything off with this uh, cut up t-shirt. Um, you don't even have to cut up a t-shirt. Um, well, some of you guys know I do construction. Um, I just found out not too long ago that they sell uh, shirts basically just like this. They're cut up uh, little rags. You can buy them at Home Depot. A bag of like a hundred for like four dollars. Um, so that's probably what I'm going to start doing from now on. I just already have this shirt. Um, so that's why I did this. Just lightly going over everything now. Taking all the excess dirt off and conditioner. As you guys saw, I went very, very light. That's just how I feel is the best way to do it. Um, if I'm deep cleaning a glove, that's another whole story. But as you guys can see, not really too much came off. This glove wasn't that dirty. It just was a little dry on the walnut. That's really why I was going in. Uh, the, the palm doesn't need it, so I'm just not going to do it. It's really that simple. Um, just because you start to condition the glove doesn't mean you have to do the whole thing. But this thing obviously needs a deep conditioning. I'll show you guys with the light. It's kind of hard to do um, box catcher's mitts in the light. As you guys can see, it is really, really, really dry. So I'm just going to kind of go in and um, condition this one up. For this one, I'm going to use the 2B Wax. And I also have Wilson Mink Paste here. It's a little bit of... Um, this is really great on dark leathers. Um, this is like my go-to for um, blacks and uh, really deep browns. Uh, that's probably... The Marco's face is just so funny Are you there. you going to show the whole thing? What? This is when you learn how to edit and do like time lapse things. Oh, no, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna talk a little bit. Um, It'd be cool if we could like do a time lapse though. We really have to learn how to do stuff, guys. Right? This is so professional. I love us. This is like this is like one of our OG videos. We used to get like 85 views. I wonder why you know no one liked us, but people. Professionals would do time lapses. Yeah, no, not not here. Um, just make sure you're really getting into the fibers, guys. That's really you know it. It, it conditioning a glove isn't you know rocket science guys a lot of people make it a lot more complicated than it is um these guys that are professionals like you know glove love or davis relacing they have all their tricks of the trade and stuff and they usually um are reviving pretty beat up gloves and you know that's that's good and well but that's not really what the average person is dealing with the average person's just conditioning um their game gloves to maintain them 
So, yeah, guys, that's really it. Don't be stingy about conditioning your glove. Gotta be smart. Be smart. Make sure you're wiping everything off after. And until next time, have a good day.